My name is Gareth Stone. Uh, I'm a managing director at Houlihan Loki, based in London. Um, Houlihan Loki is a firm focused on mergers and acquisitions, particularly in the food sector. And personally, I've done a lot of work within the sports nutrition space, most recently selling Grenade in, in the UK to Lion Capital. So we help businesses raise capital, sell themselves, or indeed buy other businesses. Sports and active nutrition are a really exciting market at the moment. There's a lot going on, both in terms of dynamics within the market and also in terms of investment activity. And one of the reasons that this is the case is that it's one of the, the rare parts of the food industry to have some very good growth rates and some pretty interesting margins because of the, the, the high quality and high value add nature of the products. And some of the key trends that we've been seeing over recent years that have accelerated over this year is increase in, in normalization. So more products becoming more mainstream, being more convenient, so bars, drinks, rather than necessarily than powders, and more of a focus on, on the large retailers. And some of the other key areas, particularly in the US, has been around the increase of vegan protein, so people seeking out alternative sources apart from dairy. Um, equally, bone broth as a holistic whole food is also taking the US by storm. Um, neither of those trends have really come over to, to Europe so much, but we certainly expect them to over the coming years. Um, and a lot of it is about the ability to create innovative products that are palatable and yet nutritious, um, which has been a little bit of a challenge for the industry so far. Yeah, so in, in the future, we really see a continuation of a lot of these trends, um, particularly more mainstreaming towards a health and wellness audience. So a focus on high protein, low carbohydrate. Um, an element of personalized nutrition we think will become important in the more traditional elements of the, air, of the uh, um, industry, particularly around the traditional uh, bodybuilding and elite athletes, a bit of a, more of a focus on active ingredients and functionality, um, whereas in the more mainstream side we see more branding and look and feel being more important.